Today, we are sponsored by the word Schadenfreude, which is German for taking pleasure in the misery and suffering of other human beings. The Mystery Walk dot com and Faster Than the World dot com presents Watch you, the cat! Whoa, whoa, whoa. The only talk show host who's truly and honestly down with the sickness, Hepcat. Hiya, just call me Hep C. This is my video response cartoon show. The way it works is you send me a video and I respond to you in my next video. We're gonna use the magic television to visit the depths of the ocean. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Oh my god, I'm so wet right now. That's because I'm underwater. Tee hee. Whoa, whoa, my slippery porpoise just accidentally slipped out. <laughs> Sorry, didn't expect to show you guys that. He's located not so far away from my puckered starfish. But let's see if I can finally zero in on the happy sea urchin here. Hello, I'm the happy sea urchin. I came here to ask two questions. My first question is, how many hours a week do cartoon characters work? It's not like we actually have a union or like the Freemasons Guild of the cartoon characters or something. Anyway, me personally, I'm an amateur cartoon character, so I work just about an hour each week. You got the characters like Speedy Gonzalez, who uh, works endless hours for very little money. Like when the Frito Bandito fell into the cartoon thresher and uh, lost one of his arms, Workman's Comp did not do anything for him. That's the plight of illegals these days. As founder of the movement towards world peace in the year 2020, I would like to know what you think about this. Do you think there will be world peace in the year 2020? Okay, I really can't give a definitive response to the concept of world peace by the year 2020. I have uh, reviewed the Happy Sea Urchin's plan and its details, and he's given it a lot of thought, obviously. The number 2020, in the first place, it's pretty easy to see from a standpoint of memetics why he chose that. So I'm uh, going to respond in two ways here. Neither of them is exactly a yes, it will happen, or no, it can't happen kind of of answer, but uh, just two things to think about. For the first one, I'd like you to listen to the following six seconds of sound, please. What you just heard, and no doubt recognized, is called the Amen Break, a six-second drum loop that was recorded by the Amen Brothers on the B-side of one of their LPs in the year 1969. That went on to be heard throughout the entire world, and influenced the formation of several subcultures, including hip-hop, jungle, and hardcore. Now, uh, the thing I'd like you to think about is simply this. One insignificant recording of six seconds of sound was able to reach virtually the entire developed world. It's not impossible to get a message out there. Now my commentary on the dark side, as it were. Here's what I've always believed is a good definition of evil. Evil is what happens when people do really bad things. That becomes one of the largest obstacles to realizing world peace so quickly, simply human nature itself. There is another obstacle, arguably the most lethal weapon known to man, and I'm not speaking about the atomic bomb, I'm not speaking about weapons of mass destruction or chemical threats. Simply, the ubiquitous AK-47. Available from any number of sources, originally from the Soviet Union, then uh, cheap knockoffs from China, distribution throughout Afghanistan by the United States itself. This weapon is more widely distributed throughout the world and able to kill more people than any other. It's just mind-boggling. And what's more, it's actually a pretty cool gun. I mean, I fired it, and uh, it's effective. And uh, obstacle to world peace. Mm -hmm. We interrupt this program to show you... Pornos. Hi, I'm the poor nose. I've got no money, but I never let it get me down. I'm so happy and pretty and witty and gay. That's right, I'm a gay poor nose. Sometimes I catch on fire, so I'm the flaming gay poor nose. That's what I am. And now, as long as we're down here, I'd like to show you guys the pulsating mutant sausage. This uh, incredible thing gets larger as I get more subscribers and smaller when I have fewer subscribers. And now let's see what, uh, what the current status is. Oh, that can't be good. Okay, gang, let's check in with Master Bat. Master Bat, are you there, Master Bat? Calling Master Bat. I'm just pleased as punch to inform you about the sensational new character find of the 21st century. Introducing the sensational character find of the 21st century, the Happy Sock. Hi, I'm the Happy Sock. I'm Master Bat's new partner. I help him feed off the forces of evil. Bye-bye now. Back to you, Hepsy. Let me close by addressing uh, Pappy Stew's suggestion that I should be Minister of Propaganda. 
Uh, nothing personal, but, uh, no thanks. See, I don't really have the ability to put together any kind of propaganda whatsoever. With that, I'm out of time, so, uh, take care and respond, and, uh, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Get the fuck down with the